manifest is so egoic, so arrogant. It's like something didn't exist and I made it happen. Mm -hmm. the, who's the I who made it happen? When you take on this idea, you made something happen, you just bolster the ego, the false self. Taking it as mine, yours. Nothing belongs to you, but everything is you. Nothing belongs to you like, we want to have everything. We want to manifest everything so I can have it. This is ego, 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 right? As opposed to being grateful for what you do have. This is what generates more. So it don't feel like you're the doer, the one in control. Because if you think you're in control, now you have to take on ownership and control for all the bad as well as the good. Hmm? Who here wants that? And some people do exactly that. It's the whole law of attraction, trash. Yes, I'm trashing law of attraction, right? The whole law of attraction that if things don't go the way you wanted them to go, it must be something wrong with you. You didn't do it right, right? As if you have control of the universe. I can't think of a more egoic thought than that. And unfortunately, a lot of people have bought into it. And all of the spiritual teachings guide against it or warn against it. The Bhagavad Gita was one such very radical uh, book on that. Is that you have a responsibility to act. You can't not act. Uh, but you don't have ownership of the fruits of it, the outcome of your action. You may, you know, acquire things for a while. You don't get to keep them forever. So that's another clue right there. Right? Nothing here that comes to you gets to stay yours. It all goes away again. We're just sort of shepherds. We're just sort of um, care caretakers, you know. And if you're out of your dreaming mind, you'll do the best job of taking care of things. 